Hi everyone, um, not a lot to update on, I just thought I'd just spell. <laughs> um, today is, counting from the, the day of my, my miscarriage, today is cycle day 20. And I've been testing religiously with my IPKs and just not really getting anywhere. I've been taking the cheapy ones and the digi digital ones and not really getting anything. I've had symptoms of ovulation, I've had pains and the CM you meant to have, but the test is still not picking up on it, so I'm not feeling particularly positive, to be honest. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, not having a particularly good time, but at the moment it's not going brilliantly. Uh, I desperately was hoping not to have um, my first AF. I was ho actually hoping, and I think Hubby's relying on it as well. I think it'll happen magically to be pregnant by the time I'd be due my AF. Which I've no idea really when I'd be due that because. I've only ever been able, because I'm so irregular, I've only ever been able to work out when I'm due on going by when I get my positive OPK. It's normally pretty good, it's normally 14 days after. Um, and obviously without getting that, I've got no bloody clue when I'm going to start my next cycle, which is frustrating as well. Um, I just feel completely in limbo with it all. Not in a good way, if there's a good way to be in limbo, who knows. Uh, I, I would say I have good and bad days, but more bad days than good, to be honest, since the miscarriage. I, yesterday should have been my booking an appointment at the hospital, and, you know, the antenatal department, and I, I had to write to them. I wrote to them last Monday, so over a week ago to tell them what's happened and obviously to cancel the appointment I didn't want them wasting the appointment on someone who can't use it so my hair looks ridiculous today Sorry. Um, yeah so I didn't want them wasting the appointment so I wrote and told them what had happened and I also wrote to my fertility specialist informing him what had happened and sort of pointing out that I haven't really been monitored very well on the climate and mega surprise, heard nothing back from any of them. I'm not expecting the antenatal to get back to me really. You know, they're just it's all very clinical there I suppose. They just they didn't be told I didn't need the appointment. Nothing else much else they can say is there. But fertility doc I thought might have given us stuff, but evidently not. Um we've been baby dancing, doing the deed, whatever you want to call it, more or less every other day. I mean, last week we sort of missed it for a couple of days, but we've been trying regularly and still using, um, well, I ordered pre-seed, I've tried pre-seed twice, and the thing I don't like with that is you have to sort of apply it, should we say, about 15 minutes before you're going to do anything, and that's just, that makes it even more clinical. So I've, I've been more or less I've been using that and then other times using um, Conceive Plus because you don't have to do that you can just apply it at the time um, just to make things more comfortable. But, yeah. I don't know if it's going to help anything along because I've been using it a long time. Uh, doing the OPKs probably two three times a day because I'm worried about missing something. The only time I had a proper line at all, or you know, an obvious line was straight after the miscarriage, like literally days after. So I'm assuming that they were still picking up what was left of the pregnancy hormone, which they've done. You know, they my pregnancy cheapy pregnancy test to pick up ovulation, so why wouldn't it work the other way around? Um. So like I say, at the moment it's it'll be today is Wednesday, and on Friday it'll be three weeks to the day. And my doctor did say I, I should get a period four weeks from the miscarriage. So I'm looking at that, I'm due on any time from next weekend, so next Friday. Um, 
but then like I say my cycles have never been well they haven't been regular for a long bloody time <laughs> um, so your guess is as good as mine when that might happen so I mean I've got pregnancy tests sitting up there there's no point me taking them yet so I'm, I'm not even going to think about that but after next weekend if I haven't got any sign of an AF I'd consider taking one I mean since we've been uh, TTC and my cycles are anything from I think the only, I've had one 28 day cycle and that was the very first month I was on the climate I had a 28 day cycle uh, I took it for three months including the month that we conceived the first month my cycle was 28 days the second month um, I didn't get a positive OPK until day, cycle day 24 and so that made my cycle longer and I didn't start my next cycle until day well, what was I, day 38 or something like that what, remember my day um, so yeah, I suppose day 24 plus 14 days 34, yeah, th day 38 and then the cycle that we conceived I got my positive OPK on cycle day 16 and got the positive uh, the BFP uh, at I think I was 12 or 13 day, uh, days past ovulation 12 actually when I got the first BFP that's it. so I don't know how long that cycle would have been um, and then like I said I've been counting from the you know the day I very clearly had had the loss and getting very very frustrated I'm not getting a positive OPK I'm driving myself insane taking the tests but then if I don't take them I worry that I'm going to miss it even though we're you know we are doing the deed every couple of days or so and we'll do just until I get to you know, either get the positive or it comes clear that the cycle's ending I'm terrified of having my first AF um, everything I've read which, yeah, I know I'll probably do my own head in by reading everything uh, but everything I've read says how bad you know, it tends to be heavier more painful and everything than normal and considering thanks to the endometriosis I have really heavy and really painful periods anyway I'm dreading what it would be like and also the thought of having more bleeding is just going to remind me again what's happened. Not that I can forget it. Five minutes, I can't forget it. Um, it's not going brilliantly. Um, I just think it would help. It would feel like a positive step if I could just get that positive. I PK and that my body is trying to get back to some sort of normality and it's trying to do what it's meant to do. Uh, but this, you know, this upset is just another thing to stress about. Yeah, you know, I'm now scared what my body. I mean, I, you know, wait, I've got wait for my next day. I have to start the climate again. I've got three months left of climate. I'm due to see. Well, I was originally due to see fertility specialist again in mid June. And um, like I say, it doesn't look like he's going to ask to see me any sooner or do anything. So I'm assuming that's still happening. Um. I didn't take it this month when the loss happened because it just didn't seem the right thing to do. And, you know, I know it wasn't a normal AF. I mean, even if I hadn't known I was pregnant, I would have known there was something wrong. But that was just nothing like a normal period. You know, they say some of these women, you know, have early losses and don't even know they've been pregnant. I, you would, if that's what it's like, you would know there's something not right. So I'm not convinced on that one. Um, everything about it was different to a period. Just everything. So I don't know what else I can say. Cause I'm, all we're doing is testing and waiting. I've, I don't know how many tests I've got through. I've spent a load on them. Um, the hubby's trying to stay positive and upbeat about that. He, you know, he seems to think... You know, so I keep mentioning the climate and he keeps saying you're not going to need the climate, you're not going to take it next month because you won't get a period. You know. So sure that I'm going to conceive. Which is another frightening thought. Um, 
but at the moment I can't feel as positive as he'd probably like me to. Um, yeah, it's probably all normal. I probably get told it's all perfectly normal. But then the only people I'm really talking to about this stuff are other TTCers online. That's where the support's really coming from. Um, there's one friend out here that was good, was was brilliant with me when it happened. But apart from that, uh, I'm probably waffling on a bit too much now. I think I've got to the point. No positive OPK. No news otherwise. CD twenty. Um, and that's that's it, I guess. I hope you're all doing okay. I'm thrilled to see Jessica doing so well. If she's, I don't know if you watch any of my vids, Jessica, but I'm so pleased for you that it, things are going better. And I'm sure and hope that they will continue to. I really genuinely wish you all the best and anyone else. Um, thanks for listening, watching. And, of course, I will update as and when anything happens, whether I get the positive OPK or start a new cycle, whatever. Um, thanks again. Bye for now.